lecture we have to discuss our example number 4 and example number 5 so what is the difference between example number 4 and example number 5 so the basic difference is in example number 2 sorry example number 4 we will discuss about two span okay two continuous span and in example number 5 we will discuss about three span continuous beam okay so this is the basic difference and it is already discussed in our last lecture okay now we are moving further to our example number 6 now the major difference between example number 1 to 5 and example number 6 is that in example number 1 to 5 your cross section okay your cross section of throughout the span is remain same but in this example you can see that a two span continuous beam is loaded as shown in figure determine the plus determine the collapse load okay now as per data given you can see that your beam is two span continuous beam so this is your span number one and this is your span number two now in all the example example number one to five there is no any clarification regarding it is mp or 2mp because you have to assume that your beam having same moment of resistance it means your cross section of beam is remain same throughout the span now what is the difference of mp and 2mp it means it is already studied in your mechanics of solids that your one span is ei and another is 2a okay it means the size of both the sections is remain change okay so now first of all this example is solved by two methods okay if you are starting this example from left side then your answer is change and if you are solve your example from right hand side then you have to your answer is change okay so as usual we are starting our example from left side so you can see that from left side your first span is a b in which the w load is acting exactly at the center of span now if your load is acting exactly at the center then your distance is l by 2 and l by 2 and for this span your moment of resistance of span AB is considered as MP. Now you all know that this is your fixed support and fixed support takes moment. This is your point of load. So this point is also takes moment and your su support B is your intermediate support and you all know that your intermediate support is considered as your fixed support okay so your fixed support is also takes a moment it means in span a b all the three supports or all the three points takes moment now first of all you have to find out deflection shape so the deflection shape of this span is like that in which you have to return this is it is wc wc it means collapse load now if your load is acting exactly at the center then your deflection angle is same so this is theta this is also theta at the center of span it is 2 theta because it is theta plus theta it is equal to 2 theta now as you all know that what is the equation of external work done it is load into deflection under the point of load and it is wc into l by 2 into theta now your internal work done is mp into theta plus mp into 2 theta plus mp into theta okay so you all know that you have to consider this mp value just because of it is clearly mentioned that in your question now 
if your both the answers external work done and internal work done is in the form of t term then you have to equalize both the values so whenever you have to equalize your external work done is equal to internal work done then it is wc l by 2 theta is equal to 4 mp theta now you can see that in the question it is clearly mentioned that you have to find out collapse load it means you have to make wc is your subject so the answer of wc is equal to 8 mp by l so this is the calculation of span ab now we are moving further to the calculation of span bc so all the calculations are remains in just like you can see that your load is acting exactly at the center so your distance is l by 2 l by 2 now but in this one you have to consider your value of plastic moment is 2 mp okay now you all know that your support b is your intermediate support and it takes moment at the point of load it takes moment and at c support it is a simple support so simple support doesn't take any moment okay so now in this one there is two points which takes moment first of all it is at point b and second at the point of load now your external work done is equal to wc into l theta by 2 now internal work done so you all know that in the previous span you can see that at this junction your mp is acting as clockwise now you have to design any beam just like you have to design that beam for balance condition okay so you can see that at this point from left support your plastic moment is in clockwise direction so if you have to design this beam as a balance condition so it is compulsory to take mp anti-clockwise at this moment okay now this point is also takes moment but you can see that this is your span bc and for span bc your moment is 2 mp okay so your internal work done is mp theta plus 2 mp 2 theta it means your total internal work done is 5 mp theta okay now you can see that your both the answer is in the form of theta so you have to equalize both the values and you will get your answer of wc is 10 mp by l now you have two answers first one is 8 mp by l and second one is 10 mp by l so you all know that whenever you have to calculate collapse load then your smaller value is considered as your design collapse load so one statement is written over here smallest value of collapse load is considered as design collapse load which is equal to 8 mp by l okay so students this is the end of beam portion okay now we are moving further to the portal frame okay so generally there are three mechanisms for portal frame so your first mechanism is beam mechanism okay so in beam mechanism whenever any load is acting at any distance okay any distance not at junction if any horizontal force is acting on a junction then sway mechanism is considered otherwise any loads whether it is vertical or it is horizontal at any point without junction then you have to consider that for beam mechanism and your last is combined mechanism so it is the combination of beam mechanism and sway mechanism okay now you all know that there are three types of portal frame based on your supports okay so you can see that there are three types of portal frame and the difference is its supports 
now you can see that in the first portal frame it's both the supports are fixed supports okay so you can see that in the second figure your left hand support is your fixed support and right hand support is your simple support and in the third frame your both the supports are simple support okay so you can see that in this type of examples your plastic moment is generated at this point this is your a point this is your intermediate support so this point is also takes moment this is your c point and this point is also your intermediate support so this point is also takes moment and at last this is your d point and d point is also takes moment it means in this type of portal frame all the points which takes moment and one another point is at the point of load okay now in this type of frame this point is not takes moment and other points which takes moment and in last type of portal frame both the supports doesn't take any moment and other points which is at your intermediate point and at the point of load which takes moment okay now we are moving further to the example number one of portal frame so the question is determine the collapse load for the portal frame as shown in figure all the members have the same plastic moment of resistance it means your all the three members two vertical member and one horizontal members all the members have the same mp okay now as discussed earlier that in this type of portal frame there are four points this is your first second third and fourth these four points is already considered as your plastic hinge points but there is another point which is at the point of load this point is also generated the plastic moment so you can see that over here the possible locations for the plastic hinge are formed at point a b c d and e okay so your number of plastic moment is five now there are three mechanisms so your first mechanism is beam mechanism second is sway mechanism and third is combined mechanism so in your beam mechanism only that point takes in consideration when there is any load is acting on at some distance okay not junction is to be considered in this mechanism so you can see that this is your bc span in which one point load is acting exactly at the center and this point is your e point so this is your beam mechanism so the figure of this beam mechanism is calculated over here now first of all you have to draw one deflection shape so this all the calculations are remain same in which you have to return this w as your wc if your distance is remain same then your deflection angle is also same and this is 2 theta now your external work done is wc into l by 2 theta and your internal work done is mp into theta at this point mp into theta at this point and mp into theta at this point so it is 4 mp theta and if your both the terms in the same concentration then you have to equalize both the values and your answer of wc is 8 mp by n okay so this is the calculation of beam mechanism now your second mechanism is sway mechanism so sway is considered when any horizontal force is acting exactly at the junction point or there are more over functions whenever you have to consider as your sway mechanism so it is this junction point okay so you can see that at junction point b one horizontal force is acting like this and the value is w okay now this point load is acting 
at a distance l from the fixed support so whenever this horizontal force is acting your frame is moving like this okay so the deflection shape is drawn in this figure so if this is l distance and this angle deflection angle is theta then this deflection is l theta okay now this point takes moment so it is yes this is your intermediate support so this point also takes moment this is also your intermediate support so this point is also takes moment and this is your fixed support it means there are four points which takes moment in this condition okay so now your external work done is wc into l theta and your internal work done is 4 mp theta because there is four points which takes moment okay now after equating both the values your answer of wc is 4 mp by l okay now your last mechanism is combined mechanism so combined mechanism states that whenever your horizontal force as well as your vertical force is acting at the same time so the deflection of your this frame is like this okay it is the combination of deflection of one and deflection of two okay now you can see that the external work done is wc into l theta because this is your l theta and with the help of this load it is wc into l theta by 2 because this is l by 2 and this is also l by 2 okay so this is wc into l theta plus wc into l theta by 2 so this is your external work done now your internal work done is mp into theta plus mp into theta plus mp into 2 theta because theta plus theta which is equal to 2 theta plus mp into theta and at last it is mp into theta so it is 6 mp theta okay now after equating both the values your answer of wc is 4 mp by l okay so you all know that now there is three answers first one is 8 mp by l second one is 4 mp by l and at last is 4 mp by l okay so the smallest value of all this value is 4 mp by l and it is considered as your design collapse load okay so students this is the end of your today's session. Thank you.